welcome back to another Wix website video guide. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at the events section in the back office and how we can amend this uh, with any current events we have on our system or how to add a new event if we have this software pre-installed on our Wix website. So this is solely a video just to show you of how to use your back office end of your website for the events. This is not a video of how to install the software and edit the design of it. So it's just solely for how to add events to your website and to also edit these. So as you can see, we're in the back office of one of my template websites, which we are going to go ahead and hover above the event section and click on it. This will be your menu, as you can see on the left hand side, and you're going to click on events and then the three options will pop up of published, drafts and categories. We want to go to published, so that would show you all the events that you currently have live on your website will be in this section here. So as we don't have any, we're going to go ahead and create one. So let's get started. So event type, you can have a ticketed event where again, make sure to read all the little descriptions underneath. So with ticketed events, um, you can offer paid or free tickets uh, for workshops, conferences, um, classes. So it all depends on what you would like to do. As you can see, it says currency and tax, or you can do an RSVP event, which is like a, a waiting list for as, as exactly what it says, weddings, private events and parties, but we're going to do a ticket event. Now, general info, event name. So we are going to do an event of um, cupcake making. And what we're going to do is short teaser. Um, this is just something optional, as you can see. Make sure to read all the little bits that pop up. Add a few words under the event to basically inspire guests um, to get booked in. So we can put create the most fluffy cupcakes you have ever made. Event category, and we're going to do this as cupcakes. This will be saved so that we can add things into categories if we ever wanted to. And we're going to add an image. So we're just going to click event image. And we're just going to look up a picture of a cupcake. And found a perfect one from images of media of Wix. Perfect. Now we're going to scroll down and you see date and time. So it can be a single event or a reoccurring event. So with a single event, it only happens once, um, as it says here, can last multiple days, um, like a three day conference or a reoccurring event. It's like a workshop. So just say that I wanted to create this cupcake uh, making workshop every week on a Tuesday and a Thursday. So I would click on reoccurring event. And then as you can see, it's on a Thursday on the 28th and it ends on the 29th. So what we're gonna do, is I'm going to do it as a single event as an example first and then a reoccurring event. So let's create a single event first. So happens once. So we're going to create this on the 20th of December at the time of 4 p.m. Actually, let's change this. So we're going to do 4 p.m. on a weekend. So we are going to do just before Christmas Eve because I feel like that would be absolutely perfect for um, making cupcakes before Christmas um, getting those out on Christmas Eve so why not end date so the end date will be the exact same date if it is just a class that is going to be happening and the end time will be the time it will finish so we're going to put it for two hours just so it gives enough time for example for the frosting the baking the clearing up so we're going to do that time zone you can change this depending on where you live so make sure that this is showing your current time zone um, again, like I said, we're going to go back to reoccurring event in a moment. If you go down to location, physical location or online. So we are going to add the address here. So we're just going to put London for the time being because we don't have a physical address, of course. And as you can see, it's going to come up with a little pinpoint. So you can put the venue name. So we can put um, Roselia's Cupcakes. Um, and then that will have the address underneath. If it's online, you just click online and then you can put event location. Uh, you can put that it's a Zoom meeting, it's a WhatsApp call, uh, online conference, it's all examples are here. But we're gonna do physical location about the event. This is optional. So I'm not gonna fill this in. However, as it explains in the box below, use this space to tell guests about 
this event. So what you would do is tell them about the event, um, a little bit of an intro to really entice um, people to sign up. What you are going to do is maybe have a breakdown of the event. So um, are there any materials that people need to bring? Do people need to bring their own aprons? Do people need to bring their own ingredients? Um, do people need to have their own equipment or is all that provided for them? So this is an opportunity in the about the um, event section to really give the important information that they need because you don't want people turning up to events or turning up to workshops without the correct inf um, without the correct equipment or information for them to, of course, come to that workshop with everything they need. So make sure you're, in, you're filling this in as detailed as possible because this is so important when a client or a customer is gonna get booked in for this. Now, as you can see, we've filled everything in. We're gonna click create draft. And as I mentioned, we are gonna create a reoccurring one. So as you can see, it's been created, it's perfect. So we can see that it is here and it's been created. We are gonna go to the publish section just to make sure that it's live, which it's not. So we're gonna go back to drafts and to make it live, you're gonna go back to your drafts and click publish. And then we are just gonna give it a moment, click publish and there we go. And as you can see, when you publish an event, it's going to show you sold tickets and total number of sales. Now we're going to jump back in to go into the more detailed section of every event. And this is where you can then go to edit an event as well if you already have events in your back office. So we're going to click manage. Once we click on manage, we're going to be cl clicking on where there's a selection of menus for us to choose from. It's very overwhelming to begin with because it looks like there's so much information. But don't worry, we're going to go through each one of these step by step now. So your event is your event is published. Now it's time to create a buzz. So you can go ahead and click this button, which will take you to the um, email marketing to where you can then create an email and get everyone knowing about your event that's going to be happening. So we're going to do that later because I have a separate YouTube video which um, is on my channel of how to create marketing emails. And you can go ahead on my channel and view that video as well. So let's get started. So when you click here, as you can see, it's got all the information. You can click edit event details. Again, this will take you back to the information we filled in earlier in the video. You can edit this if you want to and then always click save. Now, since we've already gone through that, we're going to go down. So as you can see, if you want to copy the event link, this is perfect, especially if you want to add it to your Instagram story as a link, you will just click that and it copy and you paste it onto your Instagram link to put onto your stories or you can put it even in your bio. Finish setting up your event. So create tickets and review settings. These are the things we need to do. So as you can see, we have a few options up here. We're going to go to the ticket section. So as you can see, we need to create a ticket so that people can then have these when they enter the venue and to show proof that they have been booked in rather than you having the hassle of checking your system or trying to have a name list. This is a perfect way to do that. So you're going to click create ticket and we are going to call this the VIP ticket. Now, this is a perfect option if you want to create events that have different types of tickets. So you can create the VIP option, for example, and you could say um, include all ingredients and cook um, ut utensils. Uh, we could say cookware, but it would say utensils. Utensils. And we are going to do this for a fixed price. You can do price options for adult, senior, junior. junior. Um, you can also enter the guests for them to enter their price of how much they think it's worth. However, we're going to do fixed price. So we're going to charge this for the workshop for £50. So this will include all ingredients and utensils. Then we're going to scroll down and we're going to have a limited number of tickets available. And we're going to do five of these. And then Every single ticket that is sold on a Wix website does incur a service fee charge. You can pass this fee onto the buyer. So as you can see, um, this gets charged to the customer slash client for every time they purchase the ticket, or you can absorb the fee and that is what you will get the revenue of the ticket you're selling. So again, like I said, please do make sure to have a read through this so you understand everything that is happening. Again, 
ticket policy this is very important as you can see this is already pre-done um, automatically by Wix um, as you can see it says this is your event ticket ticket holders must present their tickets on entry so as again, again as I mentioned these tickets are so important because they can be printed out um, you can see a little example here when I click preview which I don't want to click because it's going to take us out but you can see it here pretty much how it's done and what you'll just do there's a little Q, QR code here and what that does is when you are doing your workshop, you just take out your phone, open the Wix app and download, sorry, not download. Make sure you have the Wix app. If not, please download it. And then you scan this barcode using your Wix app and it shows that they've attended that event. This is how great this event section is on a Wix website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna absorb the fee and then you have an advanced section here set a ticket sale period so you can start and end date of tickets of how long they'll sell for we're just going to leave it running just because until they sell out so we're going to click create ticket and then we have a vip ticket but what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this ticket and we are going to create a standard ticket and we are going to call this um, with the description um, must bring your own utensils and ingredients and we're going to do this for a fixed price and we're going to do this for 20 pounds again limited number of tickets we're going to make this slightly higher because the vip we won't be able to provide and we're going to absorb the fee so it's a lower fee than the um, more expensive one and we're going to create the ticket and then there we go we have a vip ticket and a standard ticket again if you ever need to edit these click edit and then you can go ahead and amend these if you need to you can of course create a floor plan and a seating plan for the seats for the prices so if i click on this you will be able to see this is more along the lines of if you have maybe as you can see rows mixed seating tables a catwalk so this will give you a breakdown of everything i'm not going to go into full detail of this but you can just click these create map and then go in it, into the detail of doing and creating that seating plan what you can also do is then go onto the settings and um, the settings section is just the currency um, taxes um, checkout time limit they have 20 minutes to check out you can edit these again by clicking edit invoices order confirmation so we want invoices um, order confirmation invoices are being sent we want that sent to people whenever they purchase a ticket registration settings um, guests can register on Wix events registration page registration is open and who can RSVP to events so we will go ahead into that and change that so we want to make sure that um, registration for this event is open and who can RSVP to events on your site so all visitors you can change this to site members only if you are making this into a limited edition um, newsletter sign up event so um, but we're going to keep it as a open to all visitors for the time being and then as you go down registration message tickets unavailable registration close as as you can see these can all be edited Emails that are being sent out um, to the guests, so your ticket confirmation, reminder emails. Again, you can click edit and you can go ahead and change all of this information. So the reminder email, you can get them to get a reminder a day before, three days before you decide what works best for you. You need to make sure that you have the subject, the message and the event details. You can't edit that is already what they've booked in and then link to description and then link to create the event just so it gives them the information that they need. We're going to do it a day before just in case. Click save and scroll back down. Confirmation email, click edit. Again, you can edit this written information if you wanted to and then click save to make sure that you save that information. Next, we're going to go into features. So when you click onto features, you're going to see you can add video conferencing, seating, map, automation, schedule and groups. I'm not going to go into these into full detail just because it is just to brand your own live video to connect to Zoom. You have to um, connect it to Zoom or to brand your own live video, which ours is not an online um, conference. You can just go ahead and click that. 
seating map, which I already displayed earlier, automations, there is a video on my YouTube page in regards to how to create automations. It is very similar to email marketing. Schedule, help guests discover what's on the lineup. So this is more of like a concert or if you are going to like a play, this is a great thing. And then groups. Um, I wouldn't suggest you need to add that unless it's a group of small people. So it gets people talking about the event. When you click on promotion, so again, this is all about how promoting your um, how you promote your event and get people getting booked in. So again, email, you can send a marketing email out. You can do social media, so you can create adverts in your back office to put up on your social media. Discount, add a coupon to give people um, a discount for first time um, for the first three people that book. And SEOs, you don't need to worry about SEOs. These should all be automatically done when you are creating your ticket and your events but it just will slightly change if you keep going in and editing the event so what I suggest is that when you do create events create them and start fresh do not um, duplicate tickets unless they are the exact same category and the exact same name otherwise it becomes very very messy with SEOs then we're going to click orders so orders again as I mentioned this is where all your orders will appear None are going to appear at the moment just because no one has placed an order, but this is where they will be appearing every time someone purchases an event ticket. And this is where it will show the names and how much, how many they've purchased and how much they've spent. Guests, again, the exact same place um, in getting all their info that you need to get. Make sure to explore all of these sections. So as you can see, when you go into overview, you've got the area here. Well, it will tell you how many tickets are sold because we have created the separate tickets now so make sure to explore each section the overview section will tell you of the net sales the sales you've done um, the total of tickets you've sold including what ticket sales have sold and what have sold out but make sure to really explore this back office area but this is just a little bit of a video not too much into detail of what we um, can do in the back office of the event section and Make sure that you check your published section. Your drafts are the ones that aren't published. And then categories. Again, you can create categories, which is very, very simple, very similar to how you create product categories. If you have any questions or want to ask about anything in regards to this video, please leave a comment in the video section below and like and subscribe to hear from me with more Wix website and Shopify video guides.